Stand, Stand by. by. Let's roll sound. Rolling. Waking up on Saturday. Great. <laughs> hey, I'm Lee Shorten. This is my film Parabola. Sugoi! Sugoi! And break. Set. Action. Parabola is a story about a single mother struggling to forgive her criminal father. Well, I wrote the story specifically for Mayumi Yoshida and Hiro Kanagawa. Uh, and I knew that Hiro has played a lot of gangsters in his life. So I thought, how could we subvert the expectation and show the soft side of that? So we were just setting up for this really, really complicated take, and then the fire alarms went off because we were using haze machines. We waited for a bit, uh, hoping it would die down, but in the end, we just had to shoot with, with smoke alarms just blaring in the background. Don't worry. We're resetting, and we just gotta we be Take the alarm back, please. <laughs> I hope that people see themselves or their family at some point reflected in the dynamics of this film. I kind of hope it makes you call up your mom or dad or brother or sister and and just tell them that you love them. Fire alarm and blizzard, classic crazy eights. Hi, I'm Nessa, and this is The Mirror. The Mirror. <laughs> Action. <laughs> the Mirror is a teenage horror coming of age story about uh, friendship and about realizing that you're enough just the way that you are. So let's just have you touch her hair. Our film is playing a lot with contrasts and contradictions, and uh, we're doing a lot of pink and pastel and fun prom dresses at the same time as we're doing kind of a horror film, and we're playing reflections and mirrors. I woke up this morning, and the house did not have power. So it looks like we're going to be filming without power here today. And after six hours of trying to get a generator out here, the power went on. My hope is that the film and the story kind of encourages us to think about women and a, our friendship between women as a uh, strength, as a positive thing, instead of feeling like we're alone, we're stronger together, even when we're at our most vulnerable, that friendship, that glue is um, what brings us together. My name is Jerome Yu, and this is our film, Idols Never Die. Seven Apple, take three. Mark. Hey, Mark. Coming of age story about a 16 year old Korean high school girl named Jimin who struggles to overcome the death of her favorite K pop idol. What I'd love for people to take away from this film is uh, the concept of fandom, how Damn. there yeah. are um, teenagers obsessed with uh, idols, celebrities and that these people can be major influences in their lives. Sorry, reset one more time. Uh, I'm a little behind, but uh, we'll, we'll catch up. I believe in my cast and crew, and they're doing an incredible job. What's a little behind? A little behind? What are we looking at, Matt? You don't want to know. <laughs> yeah. My film is called Hatch. It's the story of a woman who suffers a miscarriage finding an alien egg as a method of coping with her grief. This story uh, is based off of a personal experience that happened to me, and I found a way to translate it into a science fiction and comedy narrative as a way of coping with it myself. Technical rehearsal is up on the director's call. OK, quiet, please. Technical rehearsal, quiet, please. Action. I really like making films that make women feel comfortable about things that they might not feel so certain about in their life. 
And by playing with such a sensitive subject and showing them that it can have a positive result, I think it will give women the opportunity to watch their own fate play out in this film. Three echo, take one. And action. Hi, I'm writer-director Stephen Kemmer, and this is Ada. Cheers! This, that's, it's, um... Ada is set in London in 1843. It's about Ada Lovelace, the woman who wrote the world's first computer program. Mr. Ricardo's telegraph wires stretch through London. One of my favorite parts about this is the how we get to work with world-class actors. We've got uh, Matthew Kevin Anderson, uh, Jim Burns, is cast in this uh, blues legend. If the audience walks away from watching this film feeling that they can persevere even more in whatever their challenges and endeavors are, I feel like we've done our job. That's our goal. Hi, I'm Michael Vidler, and this is my film, Uncapped. Action! Hey, that's my one. It totally didn't work, but you guys can move on. Go. <laughs> Uncapped is the story of a young boy who's struggling with his identity, mainly because he has long, uncut hair, which he keeps wrapped up into a putka. Sure, I think it's unique because we, we have very little dialogue. All the exposition is explored through sort of very simple, naturalistic moments, rather than traditional dialogue. Cut. Crazy Aids has given me this opportunity to work with amazing actors like Agam Darshi, um, and without them, I wouldn't have been able to work with someone of that caliber. Hey, it's been on my bucket list for a very long time, and it's great to be a part of Crazy Aids this year. It may be sunny, yeah. but it's freezing here. Gosh, I wish I had mittens. Great director. Oh, see, this is where I'm going to struggle. No. <laughs> I don't know if I'm a good director, I guess. I don't know. Where should I put this? <laughs> oh, th that's assuming that I am a great director. <laughs> what makes me a great director? My ability to look at things through a much darker, deeper lens. I have good crafty on set, I guess. My team. I'm really appreciative of how much collaboration goes into film. Crazy Eights makes directors crazy. They give us access to amazing talent. Thank you, Crazy Eights, for the mentorship program. I want to thank my cast. I want to thank my crew. I can't thank anyone enough for you know, giving me this opportunity. Thank you so much. Thank you, Crazy Eights sponsors, for um, <laughs> sponsoring us. <laughs> um, there's probably better wording for that. And we are deeply grateful for that. Thank you.